What kind of price do you want on this? I'll take 15 for it. You do 20 for this in the vacuum? Sure. If I ain't got to take it back on that trailer, you know I will. Good. <laughs> I tell you, buddy, I, I'm not the kind that likes bringing stuff home. Right, and, and, and the wife wants to go back to a pallet auction this week. I'll grab that when we walk back by. Have y'all ever paid 10 bucks for a vacuum cleaner that stinks like dog crap? We did. Howdy, howdy, everybody. So today is Sunday for us. Y'all see that person back there in the back? We getting some Walmart groceries loaded up. And I was sitting here messing around editing the yard sale video. Realized we never filmed the intro. So the footage you are about to see coming up is from Friday and Saturday yard sales. They were pretty few and far between, but we did find some stuff. We went back to that yard sale we went to last weekend where you guys and gals pointed out some games we missed and we found some more stuff there. So happy we went back. Y'all enjoy this footage and we'll come back to you when it's over. Howdy. It's out here and in the house. Alrighty. That'd be great. Like that round with you. Come on, cool, thank you. Because in this house, yes, though, happens. Well, it has trailers. They left all their pots and pans over where, and it's all nice stuff. I think it sinks it here. We'll check it over for you. Hmm. Back here again. Well, maybe in here. Let's see if they got that game still. I doubt it. There's pet sports. We're looking for that Disney Wii game. And then. Just dance. Yep, that one, and then the Harry Potter, I mean not Harry Potter, Spongebob. There it is, Spongebob Squarepants. We came back for it, guys, we came back for it. Hey, look at that. You see that puppy? Ain't that, ain't that funny, Larry? That's a little travel communion.
happening in luck? Lord, I think so. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Man. Well, you can charge me for that one too. What you did? Oh, I'm sorry. One of sorry. these little ones. How much is this? You take it. Yep. How much are you? 44. The next day. Here we go. Y'all see my feet? Y'all see them? Flip flops. Flip flops all day, baby. That building right there used to be the old Kmart. They went out of business. I just take my shoes off and go bare. How y'all doing? How are you guys? I seen y'all last time I was here. Yeah, yeah sure did. You don't, you the one that bought that pallet, ain't you? All right, yeah, stuff at the auction. Stuff. Right, right, yeah. Yep. I haven't been back yet. I'm going this Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't spending no six hundred dollars on this time. I promise. <laughs> Dude's right here. Is that just a game? Yeah, just make five. I appreciate it. Thank you. Can we look in my the mirrors? We bought a bunch of this stuff. These folks here know we bought a bunch of stuff off a of pallet auction. Yeah. I'll never do that again. Oh really? Why's that? Spent thought... too much money and a lot of stuff we got was no good. Oh, we check everything out before we pre-sale, you know, to make sure everything's all right. Right. We don't believe in that. Uh, yeah. He's got one. Yeah, he's got it set out. Yeah, I guess a lot of it's hard. It was. I mean, half of it had stuff missing. You know. How much are these? The guy wants twenty dollars a piece for him. He's one for a set. These are cool as can be. Huh? They charge. And once you charge them up, you can take them in the car with you. You can take them anywhere you want. Just buy them. Ain't that something? But, but they go anywhere. They got charges and all with them. They're really pretty neat. He's not even mine, Barbara. The guy just stopped by, a buddy of mine, do pilot dogs, and just stopped by and dropped some off. But they're, they're really neat. Honey, I'll take $5 for the whole box right there. Oh, that's cool. So we ain't got to go back to the house. I see anything that you do. Yeah, we have to go back to the house. How much do you have to do logs, buddy? I can't do it. My dad gave it to me in Ohio. He's 87 years old. Can't even walk anymore. Oh, he said, here, take his home. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a long haul to get that big tractor. Uh, yeah, so. How much is your light bulb? He wants $2. Oh, what did he tell me? Two for five is what he told me. I got to remember what he told me. Two for five, no matter what color. Oh, these are his too? Yeah, I, this has nothing to do with mine, guys. Or I, can, you know. I don't even know what them things sell for. don't have a clue. I didn't get this stuff together, actually. I know. That's more of that stuff to mop these pilots. But you see what them things sold for? Yeah. Five, 60 a piece, that's crazy. Two for five ain't too bad, I reckon. <laughs> wow. Two. Huh? What is that thing right here for? And it took me a while to figure it out too. It's when you're working on your lawnmower, you put your front tires in this and you can jack the back of your lawnmower up for a time. Uh, your mower from moving, I didn't know either. What kind of car was this? I come off a 64 Plymouth. I've had it on my lawnmower for years. That was my hood ornament on my lawnmower. And my hood finally cracked on me, so I said, well, I'm gonna get rid of it. There you go. What do you want on the back of the bike? 10 bucks. I guarantee you nothing wrong with it. You know how I am, I don't lie to people. Just ain't me. I was thinking for the store, these are the It's got all attachments with it. Really? Hmm? Some kind of brush that goes with it. It's got all kinds of goods. I don't know how it works. I don't know anything about that. What kind of price you want on this? I'll take 15 for it. I would have had screws with it, but when I took them out, they hit the ground and I didn't pick them up. Because I was probably too hot and too lazy at the time. They go online anywhere from 40 and on up. I looked them up. I've had it on my mower for years. And the mower thing finally cracked. It won't stay on there anymore. 
You do 20 for this in the vacuum? Sure. If I ain't got to throw the back on that trailer, you know I will. Good. <laughs> I tell you, buddy, I, I'm not the kind that likes bringing stuff home. All right, and, and the wife wants to go back to a pallet auction this week. I'll grab that when we walk back by. Have y'all ever paid 10 bucks for a vacuum cleaner that stinks like an old crap? We did. And I don't know how she's standing over there wet junk, buddy. That thing stinks. That joker stinks. And then she's going back with a breeze like that's going to help. It will. That junk stinks. We're going to take that thing to the house and wash it down with some gas and get that smell out. I just wonder how much these are. Yeah, that's pretty good. How much are these? Well, both of them? Not all of them. I think the brass is pretty close with the brass. And actually, the wife just came out with them things yesterday. Sir. I appreciate it, man. No problem, bro. Right, this right up. I get the back here. Hopefully you sell it all today. Yeah. I want to get done talking about what you say hard. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. This thing's heavy. Just down here vacuuming some concrete. This should be a lot easier than sweeping the shop floor. Lord goodness. Ah, the ones down through there are still up. That's hmm. Georgia. What? Let me see that Joker. Yeah. No, but I got some friends that unfortunately are. What? The dogs. I mean, I like <laughs> Alabama. I will root for Alabama, except for when they play my team. <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. Well, I grew up in Georgia. Diehard Georgia family. Ah. Uh, how much is it? Uh, I'll do $2 on it. All right. You ain't got no video games or anything, do you? I don't. Um, my kids took all those. There you go. There's See, an Alabama purse. That drugger right there is what's nice. Gave a pretty penny for that purse right there just because it has the Alabama leather handle. Now, we all die hard Bama fans. I wouldn't dare let my daughter wear that. <laughs> we got some friends on the YouTube that live over in Georgia. Yeah. And um, they're real big Georgia fans. How much is jacket? I'll do four on it. Actually, I'll do three on it. Just get rid of it. Alrighty. Howdy, howdy. How much are these? $16. 
And then um, let me get those to you. Let me get those root beer things too. Yeah. Okay, so Hey, I appreciate it. Uh-huh, y'all have a good day. Keep this baby Oh. Mm-mm. Alrighty, guys and gals. So, hopefully you enjoyed that footage. We still getting the groceries loaded up, as y'all can see. <laughs> we're filling all the clips and while we're Lord, getting groceries. Lord, Ain't no getting by today. Mm. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button for us. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And say hello to that brave Walmart worker back there braving this coronavirus. Mm, braver than I am. Mm. Loading up my groceries. Man, that's amazing. We ain't got to go in there, so I'm happy with that. Is she done? I don't want to hit her. Thank you. So, um. They just holler at you through the windows here. Those are the real heroes right now. These people working in all these stores and getting the groceries for us. That kind of deal. So we appreciate it. We appreciate all you guys and gals, and we'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all. Bin Laden was known for suicide vest. He would take his brainwashed people, put them in a suicide vest, and send them out to blow people up. We're going to give Mr. O. Sammy Bin Laden a suicide vest. We got this big old thing of firecrackers here. We're gonna wrap around Mr. Osama Bin Laden and give him a ride. We'll come back to you. Alrighty guys and gals, so I give you the suicide vest. You think that thing's shockproof? Mm-hmm. We're gonna try. See y'all pretty close to this joker. Y'all see old Sammy there? Hashtag America.